Hi everyone, I found a new kind of fish for today's cooking. I'm quite excited to try to enjoy this fish even that the size is rather small. The fish that we are going to cook today is commonly known as shishamo, uh, also known as a willow leaf fish. This fish is actually a kind of uh, big fish and it belongs to the smelt family. Shishamo is a common finger food in uh, some of the Japanese uh, izakaya or casual restaurant and most of the time it's eaten when it's at its uh, period where it has a lot of uh, eggs or roll in the stomach. I saw this at the market and I don't think that they have roll because it's kind of like a flat stomach, I'm not sure. We, when we prepare and we cook, we will know. Normally these fishes are eaten as a whole. That means you do not take out the gut or the gill at all. They will either grill them or they will deep fry them or they will fry them. And it's being enjoyed as a finger food before the main course. I think that the season is during at this time uh, where, whereby it's coming to the winter and this is the first time I'm seeing them at the supermarket and the wet market so I'm kind of interested to find out uh, how is the taste of uh, shishamo although I have eaten them at the izakaya or the Japanese uh, casual restaurant before so let's prepare the fish for today's cooking Alright, now we give this uh, smell a quick rinse Something to note is that because the body is very soft, so when you are washing them, be very, very gentle. The smell does not have any scales. The body is very smooth. And um, we're going to do a simple deep fried dish and there's no need to remove any gills or the intestine. We will eat the smell as it is. So what we need to do right now is just to simply pat dry the fish. After we have pet dried the fish, now I'm just going to sprinkle some salt over them and coat them both sides. And to make the smell a little bit crispier, I'm going to just lightly dust them with uh, some all-purpose flour. Do the same on the other side and then we are going to fry this lovely smelt now we are going to uh, shallow fry them so make sure you get the oil really hot and then slowly lower down the fish Once you see the fish is sort of like a slightly in brown color like this, okay, you can take it out. We will now continue to fry the rest of the smell. Looking really, really beautiful. So we're going to take it out. Okay. 
Now we will prepare the dipping sauce. So use a saucepan and then use the lowest heat that you can find. The first thing that I will put in is two tablespoons of light soy sauce, followed by one tablespoon of mirin. Then I will add about one teaspoon of sugar. Okay, make sure that you try to dissolve the sugar. And lastly, two tablespoons of water. Gently bring this to a boil and uh, stir till all the sugar has uh, melted. And then we can set this aside, take the smell, and we're gonna taste the lovely smell. Alright, let's enjoy this um, smell or shishamo. Um, what should I do? Firstly, maybe I will eat as it is first. Mm. Yeah, crispy and nice. Mm. Oh, present surprise. This one has raw. Mm. The roll has a very unique taste and that is giving this um, smell and uh, say the attraction. Wow, this also has roll. Oh, let's try with the dip. Nice. This dip is a little bit salty sweet of kind of uh, mix. So it does complement the smell very well. And I probably would love to try one with a dash of a lime. You can use lemon if you do not have lime. I think it's uh, quite suitable as well. Mm. Mm. I like the one with a, with a lime because the fish itself is quite oily and the dish itself is also quite oily so adding the lime actually cuts down the oiliness and yet you can taste the natural sweetness of the fish as this uh, smell has a lot of fine bones I would not recommend um, you to cook it for young children Although you, you can eat the bones and everything together. Mm. Delicious. This smell of shishamo, I'm surprised that they have um, raw in most of them. And the taste is really, really good. Especially uh, with a dash of uh, lime or lemon. And then you put it into the dipping sauce. And then you... Mm, it's just so wonderful. It would be a really good... A kind of a finger food so if you have a chance to see them at a local supermarket give this recipe a try and i will see you again